For this haircut, we're going to do a longer classic haircut where um, the customer can brush his hair either straight back or he could brush it back with his part where the hair can fall down a little bit. So how we're going to accomplish that is we're actually going to section the top out of the way and we're going to layer the underneath por portion and clean it up around the edges. And then as we let the hair come down, we're going to over direct it back when we cut it. So what we're going to wind up with is a um, more of a disconnected haircut. We want the hair longer towards the front. So it gives the illusion that it blends when he brushes it back, but he's gonna need it longer towards the front for it to style the way he likes to style. So again, when I say uh, the haircut's gonna be disconnected, the easiest way to explain it is you're gonna see a visual blend, but it's not gonna be a technical blend if you were going to pick it up and, and cross check it in every which direction. So real popular hairstyle now, something that was also popular, very popular in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. So the first thing that we have to do is shampoo and condition the hair so it'll be much more manageable and then we will uh, come back and go through the haircut. Okay, so I want to start out for this haircut we're actually going to section off the top and start out on the sides and the back first. So I want to section the haircut uh, because I want to leave a good amount of hair on the top. I want to section the top off just at the round of the head here just a slightly above the temple area. I'm going to comb that all the way out of the way. And we'll spin the chair around to show you exactly how I'm going to break up the haircut here. And then we're going to come back down in the back and do the same thing. I'm going to section that all out of the way to just below the pivot. There's a few ways we can go about starting. We could start in the back and we could pick it up and take small sections one at a time. Uh, in the barbering world, um, us barbers, we very rarely pick hair up with our fingers. We pick it up with a large comb and we do a lot of scissor over comb cutting. So, so for this haircut, that's what I would like to demonstrate to you how we're going to cut the underneath portion first by picking the hair up scissor over comb and completing the outline of the haircut. And then as we finish, we're going to pull the hair down and then show you how we're going to blend it and how we're going to blend everything in so we can get that look where the hair is going to fall down and, and, and do what we want it to do. So we're going to start out in front here and I don't want the hair tapered too close over the ears because we want to be able to brush it back and when we brush it back it's just brushing or just off the ear. So to, to do that instead of coming behind the ear and tapering it out this way all the work I'm going to do is the comb is going to be at a 90 degree or parallel to the side of the head pulling the hair out at 90 degrees as I work my way up. So the scissor over comb technique is perfect for this. And the other thing I want to make sure that I do is the head is round. So we want to make sure I have this sort of this angle of the comb because I want the hair longer towards the front where it has to travel more. I don't want to round it in and have it tapered in the temple area. So let's begin and we'll, we'll show you what I mean. So we're just going to do our scissor over comb. The hair is, we're holding the comb 90 degrees parallel to the side of the head. And then just in front of the ear there, I'm just going to trim it off the ear. And as I rotate the comb around, I'm pulling away from behind the ear. I don't want to keep it like this because we're going to leave a hole behind the ear. So now that hair brushes back nicely. <clears throat> and now we're going to follow that same angle all the way around. Okay, so by using a very large comb, it's very long. And it's very thick and we can control a lot of hair. 90 degrees, straight up in the air until we run out of hair. So this is the angle, again, this is the angle we're cutting the hair at. All the way around. So it's just as if we were going to pick our fingers like this and do palm cutting all the way around. This is just a faster, more efficient way of going about it. And then we're going to do one section at a time. So the previous guide is always in our comb. You can always see the previous guide in our comb. And we have a traveling guide underneath. Okay. 
And then don't worry about getting too close to the hairline or the outline of the haircut because <clears throat> we're not on that section yet. We're using larger tools. When we get to that point, we're going to use um, some smaller tools, smaller combs, maybe an adjustable clipper. Uh, we'll wait till we get down to that portion and we'll see what the hair is telling us based on. And when I say we'll see what the hair is telling us, when he sat down, he had a lot of waves, a lot of curls, but now you can see it's starting to straighten out. So there's not going to be a whole lot we're going to have to do. It might be just as simple as combing it, taking a few sections, combing it in that direction and coming from up top. Forms one section and then pulling it back and doing the next thing to get that nice sharp outline. And then if there's any stragglers at the end, we can come back with our, our trimmer and touch it up with the trimmer. So now as we get to the back, we want to bend the head down so we can see what we're doing. Now here's something else to keep in mind. The hair's long in the back and as I'm lifting it up, you can see the hairline underneath is kind of thin. We have this, we have a, it's thin underneath here and it starts to get thick about up here. So what that tells us is we have to over direct. It's just like if you're working with a receded hairline, you want to over direct the hair to the point of recession or you want to over direct the hair to the point where the thickness starts. So here we're going to over direct to where the thickness starts, hold the hair out at a 90 degree angle and follow that same cutting motion that we've been following since the other side. And then what that does is as we comb it out, it's just straightening it out towards the bottom. Okay, so then it's straightening out as we go. So we're just cutting one panel at a time. So now it's very important when we, when we look at this angle, this cutting plane that we're cutting at, but we're coming at it from horizontally, we have to keep going until we run out of hair. If we stop abruptly, we're going to wind up with a weight line, which we don't want. So back to our scissor over comb. And after we get to the center of the head, we have to resection off the top so we're not fighting too much hair. So now we're going to follow this all the way around. And comb it back in the other direction. Okay, now we're going to work our way through the other side. Same thing, comb it in a few different directions until it straightens out. We're following the contour of the shape of the head as we work our way all the way around. Just what I mean, follow the contour, dip down and then come back up and around. Again, we want to be careful not to taper it too close around the ear. And by pushing your comb up underneath, that holds the hair so you can regrip the hair this way instead of letting it fall. So that way you can make sure that the, the hair is always going in the same direction when you're cutting it. You're not just flip, flip, flicking it up and then going in and cutting it. It's going to be all different directions. So always make sure to comb it down so it's all going in the same direction before you start cutting. And then as we get <clears throat> towards the front, we want to get the hair just off the ear using the tip of the scissor. And 
and then we're going to clean up the sideburn area just a little bit. And then as we did on the other side, we can comb the hair all the way to the center and take one small little section and comb it out. And we can start our design line here or our outline here. And comb out the next section. Okay, now one more trick before we start working on the top is I'd like to take my texturizing scissors and we're going to go all the way through this section here where the round of the head is and just remove a little bit of that thickness out so it's not so, so, not so bushy. So we're going to use the same technique, the scissor and comb technique, and we're going to go, we're going to, we're going to go through it again. Except this time we're going to elevate the hair just a little bit higher but still pulling out at 90 degrees. And that's going to allow that hair to go back a little bit easier, a little bit nicer. It's going to hold its shape in between haircuts. Okay, and then as we get back to the center, we're going to have to do the same thing. Resection it back to the other direction. You could always use a clip if you wanted to. It's just something that um, I never liked to do or felt comfortable doing, putting clips in guys' hair. So I find it just as easier to just comb it back over. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now you can see what that does is now that hair is just going back nicely. Okay, and before we move on to the top, I want to take, clean up the back just a little bit. I'm just going to use a little razor sculpting technique on the back of the neck. So we're going to bend customer's head down. And we're just going to clean up the hairline with a little razor sculpting technique, take a little bit of the length off. What this does, the sculpting technique is it gradually tapers it closer as we get towards the hairline. And then we get towards the hairline, we can just clean it up a little bit without leaving a, a really straight, distinct line. We want to leave a nice natural line. We can do this in the corners a little bit too if we want. And you want to do it just in a couple different directions. Okay, and we'll do the other side here. And we'll just go across and even it off. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the top section. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to comb the hair straight back and we're going to part it directly down the center so we're even all the way around and we're going to blend the top into the sides and the back. So now when we're sure we have a nice, nice even center parting, This is where your mirror comes into play. Make sure you're looking directly in your mirror when you're doing this and you have that nice even center parting.
We're going to start in the back and I'm going to take a couple sections. The first section I'm going to take is a higher section here. And create my center guide. And then I'm going to work with the traveling guide and small sections. I prefer a traveling guide versus letting the hair fall down and then resectioning it. I find it for me to be easier. I can control the hair better. And to create that uh, disconnected look, as we get to the front of the ear, we're going to over direct everything from the front of the ear to that point. So I am now at the front of the ear. One more section. Now I'm going to over direct the rest of that from the front of the to the, that, my guide at the front of the ear. And I can see my previous guide underneath. And we're going to cut it right there. Okay, so I'm, then I'm going to let the hair down. And then I'm going to take another section on that side. I'm going to pull it out. This time I'm going to pull it out at a 90 degree angle. Using, I can see my guide underneath right there. And my top guide is right there. Pulling it straight out at 90 degrees. And I'm going to do the same thing. <clears throat> as soon as I get to the front of the ear, I'm going to over direct everything from the front of the ear back to that point. And you can easily see my top guide and my previous guide. Okay, now we're at the front of the ear. We're going to pull everything back to that point. And then you can see as we brush that back, that's all blending in nicely. So we're getting that nice graduated look right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing and work in the opposite direction. We're going to take that top section from the center, which would be the round of the head section, so I can find my center guide there. I'm going to work off of that. And I'm going to come all the way to the front until I get to the front portion of the ear. Very small sections. Don't be in a rush. Okay, now I'm to the front of the ear. So I'm going to come underneath and pull everything back to that guide, over direct it all back. I'm going to come back to the back section and take one more section down. And we're going to do it again. I can see my top guide and my previous guide underneath. I'm holding my fingers at 90 degrees. And I'm working my way around to the ear. Continuing on with the small sections. Traveling guide underneath, top guide is visible. One more section till we get to the front of the ear. Then we're going to pull everything from the front of the ear to the front of the ear to that guide. And we're going to let it go. And then as you're combing through the hair and spinning your customer around, comb it in all different directions and check and make sure everything is blending nicely together. And you can see right there, as the hair falls down, as we brush it back, technically it's blended, but as it falls down, it's, um, or, vi or as we brush it back visually, it's blended, but as it falls down, it's more of a technical blend, it's slightly cut underneath. So the last step we need to do here now is we're going to check the bangs and see how long they are. 
and then go through the top section and just even it all off. So we're going to comb the bang straight down. And I'm going to pull it all to the center. Okay, and then I'm using the left guide and the right guide. I'm going to use the palm cutting technique. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Now we're going to use that for our top guide, and we're going to take one section. We're going to take one section right through the center here. So I'm going to comb all the hair back. I'm going to pick it up, and we're going to see just a little bit of a point in the center. That's all we need to do on the top. And same thing here, pull it back to where the front of the ear is, and that's going to be our final section. So now we're blended all the way around, and we're going to check it as we go. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is we're going to clean up the sideburns. So we're going to brush the hair back, we're going to clean off the customer's face, and then we're going to move on to the trimmers and give them a nice sideburn to set off the haircut. The first thing I want to do is I want to take my adjustable clipper, which if you're not sure that's your clipper with the adjustable arm, and we want to do a little bit of tapering with the sideburns with the clipper blade in the open position. And then we want to close it down all the way and just pull that hair off the ear just a touch. We don't want to completely taper it around the ear. And see when I pull that ear down, just that little bit of hair there that pops out. That's it. That really makes the longer haircut stand out. And we're going to spin around and we're going to check the opposite sideburn. And we want to do the same thing. So make sure we comb the bangs and everything out of the way. Okay, we're a little heavier here, so we want to open that blade back up. And we're using a, a, a finishing comb, a fine tooth finishing comb. And we're tapering that hair out just a little bit. We don't want to get into the haircut. And we're going to close the blade down all the way. And we're going to pull the ear down. And we're going to pull it down the other way and take it, the clipper and just get rid of those couple long ones. Okay, so that is basically it with the adjustable clipper. And then we move on to the trimmer. So we're going to keep the sideburns long, which looks great with this haircut. So we're going to line it off right where he has them, nice and low. When you're doing sideburns, as this customer is sitting in the chair, his chin is perfectly parallel to the floor. Make sure that your customer's chin is always parallel to the floor. That way you're going to get your, your sideburns are going to be even. Now we want to comb the hair out of the way just a little bit in the back here. We want to give ourselves a nice edge. Then we're going to comb it back and then just touch, up that, just touch that edge again. Okay, and then coming around the back side here. Just want to clean up any of the fuzz on the neck. Always shave in an upward motion. If you shave down, the cutting teeth of this clipper are too close to the stationary blade and it's going to uh, bite or grab or irritate the skin. So if you are going to make any, any, any movements like this, you make your movement and you pull straight out. Okay, then we're working our way around to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Comb the hair out of the way. Make your line. Shave to it. Comb it back over. 
and then touch it up again. Any loose hairs you have there. Line off the sideburn, shave up to it. Okay, now that part is complete. And then I just wanted to show you something real quick with a vent brush. This is the kind of hairstyle now, this is a personal preference where the customer can brush it, you know, either way, straight back, with a part, without a part. We can slick it back with some gel, we can dry it and use some paste. But I just want to give you an overall 360 view of just when he came in, it looks like, you know, he has a natural part right about there. So we're just going to brush it straight back and let the bangs fall down just a little bit. And just give you a 360 view on how it all blends in. And there you have it. Now you have a great hairstyle. It looks great with uh, a nice suit or a three-piece suit that like are in style, coming back into style again, like these 1920s looks.